hello hello to all those watching this is bryce here um i'm afraid diego is uh not feeling too good today can we get some some rips in chat yeah he's not gonna be able to make it today so it's just me so uh, i'll try my best so we're gonna have to see how that goes so today case as you can see in the title is going up against ntc and yeah we're gonna have to see how that goes and you guys want to go over the uh the lineup which we should probably do now I'm gonna quickly get it okay so first we have our captain and the man her name is emily she plays support um mostly plays mercy moira anna it's about ten thousand healing uh about 10 minutes which is really good so yeah Real quick chat. All right, I'm back. Sorry, I had to do some. Okay, next up we have critical hit. Don't worry, we'll go over this again right before the game starts. Maybe I don't know. Depends on how many viewers we gain. So critical hit, aka Nathan. He is Case's off tank. He plays Roadhog, Diva, and Zarya. And his average damage is about 8,000 8, for 10 minutes, which is pretty good. Next up is Invited. That's not Invited. Sorry. AKA Dominic. Invited um, is the main tank of Case. He plays Reinhardt, Zarya, and Hammond, and his average damage block is about 17,000 for 10 minutes. Next up, we have Beep Bapu, aka Becca. Becca? Sorry, my voice. Um, she plays support, recently switched over from tanks, which you can see in her main. She plays Zen, Mercy, and Diva, and her average healing is about 3,700 for 10 minutes, which... Which would understand why, I mean, would explain why, because, you know, she plays Zen. And uh, next up, we have, who I accidentally put on the frame, was Raiden. A.K.A. Miguel. He plays DPS. His mains are Reaper, Sombra, McCree. And his average eliminations are 17.3 for every 10 minutes, which is pretty good. And then finally, we have... Find his card. Addison, aka Pundude. He is um, actually in uh, rank masters with his DPS. Uh, he, his role is DPS. Uh, he plays Genji, McCree, and Hanzo. And his average elimination is 22.85 per 10 minutes. So that's really good. So it looks like we are going into our game. And yeah. Now arriving at Li Jiang Tower. Let me get it up here. Let me find the uh <laughs> sorry chat, just give me a second. Alright, so we're going to be playing on Li Jiang Tower. This is uh control. Which for those who don't know, it's basically King of the Hill. And the fact of Yeah. Yeah, really quick. I'll just go over control rules. So, uh, basically with control, you both teams are fighting over this point, which I'm currently looking at. And whoever gets to 100% first, twice, wins. And uh, if someone touches right as the enemy team's thing goes to 100%, then it goes into overtime, and it's basically like a last-ditch effort. So, uh, in chat, anyone you guys want to see in particular, just curious. Or do I just kind of just float around? Okay. So, let's spectate uh, Pundu for this, you know, first fight. Very, uh, very strong DPS player. Looks like NTC does have a Sombra, so... Get a hack on critical. 
Down goes invited. Hunter to get attacked. Beep up who goes down. Down goes pun dude. Critical hit. Gets hacked and gets taken out. Looks like NTC is going to capture the point. Case is a little scattered here. Pundu does get the pick with the Hanzo. Oh. Out comes NTC's alts. Okay, looks like they do trade. Oh, Pundu does go down. Case is actually down one. Rated does get hacked. So uh, let's uh, switch switch to NTC. So we're going to spectate Jacabo, aka NTC Sombra, who has EMP and is definitely trying to go for a play here, just waiting for Case to come through the choke point. Looks like Case does scatter enough that Jacabo could not get the EMP off. Oh, this would be his moment to go get that shatter. I mean, not shatter, EMP. Rated does get one, but he does get shut down. Looks like NTC is currently winning this fight. Pun dude sends out the dragons. Invited goes down. Oh. Chicago almost gets taken out. Let's go to let's go to Blaine. That's not Blaine. Uh, there we go. Blaine. Oh, down goes Blaine. Let's go to Sloth. That's not okay. Sorry, I keep fumbling with the uh, wrong buttons. Um. Uh, Looks like Sloth and Master Bubble are uh, holding that choke point. Jacavo is also going and getting those hacks, making sure that Case cannot safely push through. Looks like Sloth got the grab. Out, out it goes. Ultimates are flying out. Looks like Master Bubble sacrifices himself to take out Case's captain, M the Man. Down goes Ender. Pundit is just nailing people. And down goes Sloth. We're gonna go back to Jacobo really quick here. Looks like Case does capture the point here, but after a hard, long-fought battle. Looks like Rated is not going to notice Jacobo right behind him. Chicago barely makes it out of there alive. Let's switch back to Sloth really quick here. Those go down goes SB. Oh, both teams Myras are down. Both team is sending out ults. Pundu with another dragon. Looks like Case is going to hold the point. So let's let's push Raided for a little bit. We haven't given him a little. Um, that much love tonight so far so uh rated definitely a pretty solid dps you know able to get in there get kills get out pandu does get another one ntc is fighting hard for that point Rated brings out the alt, but everyone gets as far away as possible, so he doesn't get any picks. Out comes NTC's grab. Down goes M the man. 
Okay, looks like Raided does get Blaine. Let's switch to Invited's point of view. He does get his Shatter back. He gets... He gets him with the Shatter. Well, out comes NTC Shatter. Jakava with the double kill. Let's go back to M the Man, who's struggling to get back to the point. Pundu with the Doomfist pick. Very interesting. I'm the man with the desperate battle mercy does not make it out alive. Invited going in with the ball play. Out comes the EMP. Looks like Case is not going to get this point. The first round does go to NTC. So uh, that's the first round. For uh, those just tuning in, it is Case versus NTC. And uh, this is the second round of Control. So still on Lijang Tower, it looks like Raided is switching to the Symmetra, so they are going to do a teleport play. And uh, NTC is definitely going with a dive composition here. For those who don't know what that means, that uh, basically means uh, very... They're trying to really get up in uh, people's faces. Just trying to stay on them. Get, don't give them any space to breathe. Looks like Rick Pundu does go with the junk pick. J junk, right? Not actually junk, but... Okay, let's go to Invited's point of view. Looks like he does try and get the... He does try and pin the ball, but it just does not work. Down, down goes Beep Bop Boo. Beep Bop Boo does get revived. I'm the man and Raided both go down. Down goes Beep Bop Boo again. Chase is out of healing. They're going down. Down goes Critical Hit. Okay. Let's spectate and Endo. Let's give the uh, NTC support some love. I haven't been spectating them. So this is a uh, Ender. Seems to really like playing Baptiste. Oh, sorry, V. I'll, I'll fix that. Sorry about that. I didn't have it on the right preset. Anyway, it looks like uh. Case is definitely at a disadvantage here. I'm the man is trying to make a desperate escape. Uh, let's go to Blaine, who is playing the Genji. Very interesting pick. NTC is. Oh, scrimmage? Okay. Yeah, don't, don't worry, uh, V, I'll, I'll fix that. <laughs> Sorry for, uh, those watching. We're working on it. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been the one streaming, so, uh, sorry. But it looks like, uh, NTC is trying to hold Case on the bridge. Out comes NTC's Dragon Blade. Gets one. Almost gets a second, but does not. Pundu does get one pick. Looks like Case is definitely at a disadvantage in this fight. Down goes invited, and it looks like NTC is going to get the map. Oh no. Case is going for overtime. Pundu just cannot withstand the pressure. He's been left all on his own. Down goes Blaine. Let's go to SP. Both teams are fighting viciously for this point. Several alts are coming out. Down goes SP. Jakavo is actually on the tracer this round. I forgot to mention, not even on the Sombra. Master Bubble with the double kill. That's what I like to see. 
Looks like Case does get a res off. Looks like Case does capture the point here. NTC is immediately on top of Case, giving them no time to breathe. Case is immediately going for the... I mean, NTC is immediately going for the recapture. Looks like Case is going to struggle, and they are going to get staggered here. They're just throwing out ults left and right. Oh, Pundred gets two. Raider gets another. Oh, Pun Dude gets another one. Let's watch some of Case again. Let's let's actually watch Pun Dude. He's been having a really strong performance today. I want to see how that goes. So it uh, looks like Case is uh, actually going to hold the point here. And oh. Raided does get knocked off the map. I feel bad for the guy. Oh, now comes the Genji ult. Gets one. Jacobo finds the other support. Blaine gets a second. Gets the Diva mech. Master Bow finishes off the baby Diva. Pundud gets taken out. Looks like Raided does go down. NTC does capture the point. Beep up with a last ditch effort and does not make it to the point. So, looks like NTC does get the first map. Very, very strong performance from both teams. Alright. So, next up. We are going to be playing on hybrid. Sorry, I cut off the play of the game there. I do apologize. I was being a little hasty with the transitions. But next up, we will be doing a hybrid map, which is a combination of uh, attacking team and defending team. And the attacking team has to capture a point, and, the, and then they push a payload should they capture the point. And the defending team has to, well, stop this. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to see how this plays out. So, uh, for those who are just joining us, do you guys want a re quick recap of who's playing, or no? Because if not, we can just, uh, we could talk about some plays there. I definitely noticed that, um, with Case, they tried to stockpile as many alts here. I'll just go into Talk Shark really quick here. So, um... Definitely noticed that with uh, with Case, they tried to stockpile as many alts as possible, but were usually forced to use theirs. Um, and with NTC, I definitely noticed they tried to get up to around three to four ultimates before they started using them. Like, not stockpiling up to five or six, which is what we're normally used to. But, um, you know, just saving up to like a nice moderate amount and then throwing them out there and forcing Case's hands. Very smart decision. And uh, while we're working out what we're doing, it looks like we will be moving into the match pretty soon here. So, uh, you guys ready? Looks like we are going to be playing Nambani. Very, very nice map. All right. Once again, uh, in chat, feel free to put someone you guys really want to see. Like, just like for the beginning brawl, I have to kind of like, you know, just drift around, just watch everyone. But anyone you guys want to prioritize? Ready for battle. Once again, it looks like NTC is definitely going with a much more dive, um, very dive composition. Two dive tanks, very mobile healers, and DPS. Case is going with their signature passive-aggressive composition, where they have players, they have characters who could easily play very bunkery, but they also have characters who are able to be very mobile, get up in their faces. You know, very solid team composition. I guess for this beginning fight, we're gonna we're gonna watch rated. 
he should be right in his element here with Junkrat because there's several, there's several uh, noticeable choke points with this map. So Junkrat always thrives in the choke points, so we're gonna have to see how those go. Looks like NTC is going straight for the point. Master Bubble does does try and dive case up top. Sloth gets two. Let's switch to Sloth. Let's let's switch to Sloth. Sloth is just taking him out. He's gotten three in this fight. Blaine gets another. Ender gets another, and it looks like and. NTC is going to capture the point. Okay, NTC, you guys want to see Master Bubble? Alright. Yeah, we actually haven't watched him yet. Very strong performance in that fight. He may have not been getting those eliminations, but he was definitely there. He was definitely dealing some damage. You know, disrupting. He was definitely the initiator of that fight. So, Master Bubble is going to be pushing forward a little bit here. Just trying to keep Case away from the payload. I do feel a little bad for Master Bubble. Case does have critical hit on the hog, which is not very good for a Winston. Master hit Master Bubble does take out his ultimate. Gets one. Oh. Jacavo and Blaine are there to back him up. They do take out Case, which is allowing their, uh, who's back at point? Trying to identify, it looks like, uh, Ender is back at point. Just pushing the payload, slow and, yeah, slow and steady wins the race. And, uh, you know, while this has all been going on, NTC has been building up their ultimates. And getting ready for that big brawl, well, Case has not had a chance to build up any of their ultimates. Casey's one of okay. Out goes both of Casey's ultimates. Beepapu does get hers. Oh. NTC is using their alts here. Blaine is uh, having some serious plays here. Gets invited. Blaine is popping off. He's had a very strong uh, performance on the what, Echo. Sloth lays some bombs all over the point. Make sure Case can't get close. Beepapu does get taken out. Oh, critical hits by just goes flying. Invite gets taken out. Pun dude is stalled off the point, and it looks like NTC does get to the third. Yes, Bubble did get popped. Alright. Is there anyone on case you guys want to see? Because, um, I think case definitely had potential there. But, like, their composition up against uh, NTC's dive was just not enough. They just kept getting, you know, a lot of pressure. Just couldn't handle all of it. Yeah, I'm just, just going to go for like a nice little wander on the map. Very pretty. I sadly do have to tone down the uh, the quality for the stream since my computer isn't a super... Like, I play off a laptop, so that's why, you know, stream might not be top quality, but I try and make up for it with my brilliant voice, but... You, you know... So uh, while we're doing this, let's uh, let's watch Case mainly this round. Eh? We gave uh, NTC a whole lot of attention that round. So we're gonna start off with Pun Dude with his signature Genji pick. I mean, Pun Dude, he's a uh, very very strong with the Genji. It seems like he Genji has been getting slightly outshined by his other by. Pandu's other picks, but Genji is still very strong. Looks like Sloth is uh, running away. 
rate it is probably gonna go for the go for the hack that initiates this fight. Oh, gets the turret. And invited gets another, gets Ender. Master Bubble goes down. Sloth does find M the man. Oh, Pundu with the massive Genji plays. Just taking out NTC. Raided with the backup hacks, just... Oh, raided with the massive plays. Looks like Pundit is barely able to escape with his life and his ultimate. Looks like NTC could definitely not handle the pressure there. <laughs> and, uh, sorry, it's a little late. Anyway. Oh. NTC's Ryan does get hacked. Looks like Raided is uh, going in. Gonna try and go for a hack. Invited goes down. Raided is trying to build up that ultimate so they can probably combo with Pundude. Case is gonna start getting spawn camped here. They can't do too much about it. And you see, it's just laying down too much pressure. Let's uh, watch, watch some critical hit. Looks like he does overshoot the bomb a little, but he did get one pick. Pundud finds another. Looks like Case is going to push back NTC a little bit, give him a little bit of a scare. Let's go back to Pundu. He's been getting some massive plays here. Invited backing him up. I know Case usually doesn't play it, but I think their true tempo is really dive. They have several very aggressive players with very aggressive picks. Because let's be realistic. Rated, I mean, all of his picks are usually dive people. You know, uh, <laughs> Sombra or Reaper. You know, very aggressive. Very aggressive. Looks like NTC is fighting hard for this point. But Case is just, you know, they're prepared for this. Invited going out. Using his ultimate. Case is luckily they saved up all their ultimates for this fight. Let's go to Invited, who's been having a very strong performance today. Hundred with the kill on Master Bubble. Uh, let's switch over to Blaine, you know. Out of uh, NTC's DPS, definitely been having a, don't get me wrong, both of their DPS are having a very strong performance, but Blaine has definitely been showing up today. Both of NTC's DPS are flanking, Jacobo finds one. Looks like Casey's gonna get scared back a little bit here. Oh, the rest of NTC is here to back up their DPS. Blaine gets critical hit. Epsi gets raided. Master Bubble gets invited. Pundu does save his supports from Blaine. That looks like Case is still at an ultimate advantage here. So it looks like Case is saving up pretty much all of their ultimates. The only one they don't have is invited. Beepapoo does get hacked. Let's uh, let's switch back to Jacobo really quick. Looks like Jacobo is going for the master flank, you know. Gonna go in, get in there. Get that EMP off. Try and pick off Pun Dude. Pun Dude does get taken out. Jacobo has no way of escaping this. Looks like Jacobo does go down. Sloth does have grav, but is stuck at a very low charge. 
Case will not attack his bubbles. NTC is being very aggressive, gets several picks. It looks like NTC picked several from Case and is now going to move back. Master Bubble is going to be staying a bit ahead here. My is Looks like he's going to try and stick behind Case and try and get a surprise pick. Oh, he does get spotted. We're going to have to see how this goes. Oh, the hack out on the EMPs. Oh. Both teams are running a Sombra, so hacks are just coming out just stopping ultimates. Oh, Beep Bop Boo goes down. Jacabo also goes down. Looks like Critical Hit's about to get finished off here. Let's go to Raided. Looks like Case was smart enough there. They didn't really use many of their ultimates there. I think they... I think at most they only used M the Mans, which I don't remember them using. So... In the end, uh, you know, NTC actually burned more alts there in that fight to win. Looks like Invited is, uh, he's struggling. He's getting put up against that Reaper and that, and that Winston up top. He's got his team there now to support him. He looks like he's going to try moving in. That re With that Reaper there, Invited just gets shredded too quickly. Case now has all their ultimates. Ooh, Invited is getting pretty bad, pretty hurt here. You know. Oh. Outcome two out of three of NTC's ultimates. They get two picks, three picks. Looks like Invited is barely going to escape with his life. Especially his supports. Supports are getting picked out here. With this composition, he's just not as much able to save his supports, especially against Blaine. Let's, uh, let's spectate Pundu. He's going up against Winston. Definitely not a good matchup against the Genji. Pundu's definitely trying to apply some pressure here, but he can't do too much with that Winston there. Down goes Pundu. Critical hit. The case is pretty much only biggest hope. Oh, raided with the with the EMP. Looks like it's not going to be emphasized on. And it looks like that is round one. Oh, wait, no. Sorry, NTC wins. It looks like uh sadly case does lose once again. That's alright, that's alright. They can come back. We've seen them do it before. Die, die, die. Yeah. Uh, definitely a very solid performance from both teams there. I just feel like uh, both teams just aren't playing to their full potential. Don't get me wrong, they're playing very strong, but I feel like if they all just found their correct synergy they'd be unstoppable. So, uh, yeah, now that we're here, let's really quick go over Escort rules. So Escort would be the uh, second half of the... Sorry, <laughs> my voice. Would be the second half of Hybrid, which is basically just pushing a payload. So you spawn in, you know, just start pushing the payload, you know, just going on with it. And yeah, so let's go to Talk Shop really quick. So, um, I definitely noticed that, uh, today, I mean, that round, sorry, uh, Case was definitely focusing, they were not giving in to, um, when NTC used their ults, they try and continue saving them instead of expending them in that fight, while NTC did still stick with the strategy of save up till two or three, and, you know, try and use them there. Yeah. Um... But sadly, there at the end fight, Case was just not able to bring out their ultimates because uh, they just kept getting hacked. I mean, I hear that Blaine 
There he is. Yeah, he is. Yeah. I mean, Blaine has been getting some serious picks today, and he's been playing really solid. But uh, with Chicago uh, on the Sombra, like, the case has just not had a chance to breathe. You know, it's constantly getting hacked. You know, can't bring out their ultimates. They can't win the fights. Rated Sombra was doing work, but just wasn't able to compete. And it looks like our uh, next map is Junkertown. A very, very interesting map. Um, I definitely like it design-wise. You know, like that barren wasteland, but uh, still, it's uh, infuriating to uh, attack on. But uh, yeah, we're going to have to see how this goes. Oh, Coach had to step in. Jeez. All right. So, uh, yeah. So, what do you think? Of, what do you guys think of uh, Case's performance so far? Feel free to put it in chat or NTC. Like, I'm I'm open to either. I'm willing to. Is there anything that I missed? Feel free to remind me. You know, I I, I miss things that sometimes I'm I'm human. So, uh, looks like we are about to uh, go into our game, so let's get ready for that. So, uh, for those tuning in tonight, maybe have joined in a little late. Today is Case versus NTC. Um, NTC is currently up to 2-0. Two to zero. I also forgot to mention, this is important for those watching, um, the game on Wednesday was moved to Monday. Because, uh, you know, like reasons, I think it's because it's near Thanksgiving and everyone wants to be with their family and all that. But, um, yeah, so make sure you tune in Monday, not this Wednesday. So that's important. Just remember that. Uh, that's going to be helpful, you know. Or you could just follow us on all of our social media platforms and, you know, just watch for all those uh, notifications. But, I mean, either works. Okay, well, it looks like there were some subs. Um, Mighty Pants is brought in for Invited. Let me quit really quick bring up her card. Uh, here we go. Mighty Pants, a.k.a. Mikey. Uh, her role is off tank. Uh, she mains Diva, Roadhog, Sigma. And her average hero damage about five and a half thousand. For ten minutes, sorry. Um, jeez. I went silent there for a second. I apologize. Alright. So, looks like, uh, Case is going to be defending first. Mighty Pants with a very interesting pick with Arisa. I mean, both of the tanks currently in are both off tanks, so it looks like one of them is gonna have to play shield. Which, actually, I think you could play double off tank. Which I've seen it done before. But, thinking of, uh, how... NTC plays, it would probably not be the smartest idea. But it looks like uh, very interesting picks from uh, NTC with the uh, double sniper. Oh wait, Blaine switches to Genji instead of Hanzo. Let's, uh, let's watch Jakazo really quick. Chicago. He does get a nice little headshot on critical hit, scaring him a little bit. Chicago is uh, waiting for people to step out from behind the shield. Looks like Blaine is going to try and set him up for him, but he just gets the picks himself. Ender with another pick. Sloth with another. Looks like NTC is just rinsing here. Case is putting up a fight, but they got they got st staggered and just couldn't handle it. So uh, let's switch to Master Bubble. No, very strong Winston. I've definitely noticed that uh, NTC's tanks they seem to be strong in one tank. Not saying that's a bad thing, but like very strong with like one 
tank, so make sure that uh, in case of future matches we have case, watch out for that. Down goes Blaine. Master Bubble just can't take on a uh, Roadhog. That's just not how Winston works. He's barely able to escape his life. Let's go to Blaine. Coming back from spawn. Critical hit takes out Master Bubble. Gotta feel bad for the guy as a Winston player myself. Pundu does pick Jacavo. Oh, Raided is caught all alone. Looks like he is going to retreat back to his team. Oh, Pundu gets one. Oh. Pundu is just nailing NTC here. NTC is say, staying just out of Pundu's range. It's best they don't push until his infrasight is over. Oh. Looks like uh, Blaine is setting up for a surprise ambush while Raided is doing the same thing. <laughs> the same spot, actually. Raided does get Blaine. Oh. Looks like Mighty Pants and Pundu get hamster bombed. Mighty Pants goes down. Pundu barely survives. Uh, let's switch to critical hit here. Uh, AKA uh, Case's signature hog player. Critical hit completely just ignores the Hammond that's tearing up his supports. Chicago gets beep up boo. Oh, critical hit. Ooh, and M the man both do get both go down. Rated is uh getting close to his ultimate, but I'm sure he doesn't want to stick to that payload, he'll get taken down. Pun dude goes down. Yeah, maybe we should have that as like a little after show, you know, why not? Like just a uh, pun dude versus Chicago widow duel. Headshots only. So uh, let's let's give uh, NTC a little bit of love. We're gonna watch some more Blaine because Blaine with a very strong performance on the Doomfist. Looks like he has a very high sensitivity. Definitely with those uh, that flick, that flicking flick. I'm not like you know like a flick. It's, it's, I feel weird trying to explain what I mean by flick. <laughs> Blaine does get caught with his, uh, his pants down, but he's able to catch M the man. Chicago finds another. Oh, Chicago finds a second. Chicago finds a third and a fourth. Chicago is on a tear. Looks like Case is actually afraid to step out of their spawn since Chicago is just existing. Pundude has once again found a very worthy adversary. Down goes Raided. Critical hits getting torn up on point. Already used his breather. Case is just getting taken out here. And it looks like NTC does get to... Uh, third point. NTC, yep. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for uh, those watching, looks like NTC has taken third point. So uh, we need some we need some love for Case. You know they need some inspiration. Let's hope they can uh, bring it, pull it together, and uh, beat up and take out <laughs> oh, uh, NTC. Looks like uh, Case is going with the double turret. <laughs> Very uh, interesting uh, combo. Here, uh, um, I'm gonna myself really quick. I'll be right back. So uh, don't worry if I'm quiet. Just don't worry. It's fine.
All right, I'm back. I just had to grab a drink real quick. We're uh, we're gonna spectate some raided with the Bastion. I guess Case just has to be happy that uh, Jacavo isn't on the Sombra. Case is going with a double shield, double turret. Very uh, bunkery composition. Made to sit in one spot and just not move. Looks like uh, N NTC is uh, trying to hold their position, but Raid just is putting out just so much damage. Gets another. Raided is just sitting there, just nailing them. Oh. It's a massacre on point. We're gonna, we're gonna go to Pundit really quick. Hundred on the Torba. Pick I've actually maybe seen once before. I mean, compared to his other picks, it may not be as strong, but as long as he has his turret, I think he's fine. Beepop Boo is actually on the Mercy, while M the Man is uh, on BAP. This is a very big turn of events. Jacavo with the pick. Let's uh, switch to Jacavo and just watch. Oh, Hundred. Getting scared. Torb, one of the biggest head hitboxes, just getting stared down by Jacob's scope. Oh, yeah, make sure uh, follow all of our social media and make sure you follow us here on Twitch. So you, know, you can uh, so you can see our future matches. Jacobo is currently being tracked down by Pun Dude. And ever since Widow got her health nerf, she cannot, I mean, Jakavo cannot risk taking that fight. Looks like uh, ultimates are flying out. Raided. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit that. Raided goes down. Beep bop boo. Just trying to keep the team healed. Down goes Mighty Pants. Critical hit with the, with the kills. Pun dude with the pick with the Torb. Critical hit finishes off what Pundud started. Hog is barely saved by his Baptiste. Raided takes him out. And then Critical Hit takes out the Hog. Once again, NTC's Echo with the cloning of the Bastion. Critical Hit finds Espy. Pundud finds Blaine. Sloth is down. SB is coming back from spawn. Master Bubble is rushing towards point as fast as he can. Just trying to contest for a little bit. Pundude with the double kill there, and it looks like Case is starting to pull themselves together, and they do get to the second point. Let's uh, spectate Blaine. We haven't watched him in a while. Very, uh, very strong Hanzo player, it seems. Actually, just a very strong player in general. Though it is fun to see him and Blaine and Pundude go mano a mano. It's always a fun interaction. Raided is uh, starting to get picked at here. Oh, Jacavo. Finds two. Blaine goes down. Jacobo just trying to get that long distance poke damage. Tries to take out Pun Dude. Sloth helps him finish him off. Sloth helps Jacobo finish off Pun Dude. Raided is back with the Reaper. Oh. I suspect I am the man, you know, in case his captain does need a little bit of support here. Beep Up is trapped on her own and taken out. M the man is barely able to thread on her immortality field, try and save her team. Looks like it's a massacre. 
I'm the man that's not going to make it out alive in case it's held off. Beep Boo is trying to battle Mercy here. Not always super effective. It can work, but mostly when she's ulti ulting. Alright. So, from an ultimate's perspective, which is the analyst in me, um, is basically telling me that uh, Case is at an advantage here. Oh. Rated barely survives that little interaction. Oh. Mighty Pants sacrifices their shield to keep her team safe. Case is down several players. Master Bubble is just on a tear. Chicago takes out Beep Bop Boo. And it looks like Case is having a tough time trying to break through NTC's defense. Master Bubble already has another Shatter. Master Bubble does burn his Shatter for some odd reason. Even though Mighty Pants did have her shield up and there was no one else there. Chikavo with, uh, with the triple, no, double kill. Starts getting some poke damage in. Trying to take out critical hit here. He gets him. Mighty Pants goes down. Pondude back on the McCree. Definitely one of his strongest picks. Looks like Pipapu is able to come back in time. Pundude goes down, Mighty Pants goes down, M the Man goes down. Critical hit and Beep Bop or looks like they're not gonna make it out alive. Down goes Beep Bop Boo. Critical hit goes down. And it looks like that is a uh, almost team kill on case. Raided gets finessed. Am I allowed to use that word? Is, is that allowed? Pundit goes down. Pundit gets one with the dead eye. Looks like a uh, pun dude shuts down the ultimate. Looks like he's gonna go for flank here. Gets nailed by that fire strike. Oh, pun dude finds another. Is Ooh, out comes the diva bomb. Doesn't get any picks. Pundude finds another. Pundude is keeping his team alive. And it looks like Case is able to uh, get to the third point. Can we get some hype in chat? So, uh, well, we're gonna, you know, just let them just, you know, get set up for their next match. Let's, uh, let's, let's talk a little bit. Um, as Nightbot is saying in chat, you know, make sure you follow all of our social media, you know, and uh, once again, another reminder, our uh, game on Wednesday was postponed till Monday, so uh, make sure you tune in, that's at 4 p.m. And, uh, yeah, so let's get, let's get back into the match. Also, let's appreciate, uh, this music playing on this, love it. Alright, let's head back to the game. So, uh, also for those watching, and if you were around when Aiden was around, he will be back eventually. He's hoping he'll be back soon. He's, uh, he's gonna, you know, 
finish up the little bit of work he's got to do, and he might be back. So just uh, let's hope for that. You know, let him be the main voice again. Don't get me wrong, I love being the main voice, but you know, I kind of, I kind of like having someone to bounce off of. Let's uh, let's watch Pundit on the Hanzo here, getting back to the match. Okay, so uh, after this brawl, I'm going to talk to you guys about uh, our eSports program, but I'll get into that in a minute. Critical hit gets Blaine. Critical hit does get taken out. Case is running out of time. Panu does find Master Bubble. Take him out. Looks like Pandu is about to get taken out, and he does. Mighty Pants is trying to hold down the fort as the Reinhardt on the point. Mighty Pants gets shattered. Beep up who's trying to keep up the point. like case they almost gets to the third point i mean first technically would be the fourth that they'd capture but whatever we're not gonna get super into it all right oh, I, I went to the wrong panel so uh we're gonna go over some uh varsity smash schedule and uh varsity overwatch so uh i think right now we're in week four no well anyway so week one, wait, in our league, if our team times ties, yeah, all right, so, uh, week one, we played Elkhorn, week two, we played Appleton East, week three, we played Union Grove, week four, we played Park, week five, Bayport, which is said to uh, have a very strong Overwatch team, so, um, Actually, uh, uh, on homecoming interview, uh, we did actually ask Addison and Ariel. Um, they were actually very excited to play against Bayport at some point. Um, anyways, uh, week six, right? Yeah, six is Horlick. Wilmont is week seven, and Milton is eight. Week eight. Sorry, I'm not wearing my glasses. I can't see it too well, but it's all right. So, uh, yeah, let's go back into the game. So uh, this time, Case is defending. They are going with uh, the Bastion Junkrat. Very strong pick, especially while uh, uh, NTC is on the dive composition. Jacavo does pick Beep Up Boo. As long as, pun as long as Raided can just hold down the fort. Pun dude gets sloth. Rated does go down. Looks like uh, Case is starting to get picked apart here. NTC is just putting down too much pressure. Beep Bapu was able to get a surprise res. But it looks like uh, Critical Hit won't be able to make it out of there alive if she's not careful. I mean, he, sorry. And it looks like... Overall, technically, uh, I think we ran to a couple of weeks ago, to the fourth map, but then finished the game. Okay. Looks like, uh... Officially, uh, t NTC has uh, technically won, but I think we're still playing till five, right? Feel free to correct me in chat, V. But oh, 
but uh yeah so uh yeah let's just talk about some varsity overwatch schedules because we didn't get to uh go on about that so with the uh, varsity overwatch schedule week one was arrowhead week two was horlick week three was elkhorn week four was wilmont week five is appleton east week six is union grove week seven is park week eight is bayport case is really looking forward to that one so we're gonna have to see how this goes uh Eight oh five currently. So yeah, yeah, it's eight oh five for sure. Hmm. Anyways, so uh yeah. So uh yeah, you guys ready for the game? I mean let's just chill for a minute, you know, let's listen to this now. I think like I'm gonna talk about uh Case's um esports program. Basically, uh you know, you sign up you know, you, you pick one of, like, the four major ones. We do also have, like, a rec league, you know, like, NBA 2K, Madden, you know, whatever. Among Us, I think we actually have a league like, for that. Oh, we are? Oh, sick. NTC, I'm excited to seeing this. Okay, so the new players are Battle Angel and OC640. Very, very interesting. I don't really have any cards for them because, you know, they're for NTC, but, you know, I'm still rooting for both teams. As, uh, I'm supposed to display neutrality. Which, honestly, I'm, I really think both teams have performed really well today. While technically, um, NTC is up, I still believe Case played well, and they did their jobs, you know, they're learning. I mean... Several uh, new additions were added into the varsity team this year, so, you know, they're still trying to learn how to, you know, meld with each other, you know, they're, they're still working on it. And uh, one of our main tanks, Diego, he's actually the person who I uh, coach, coach out, show cap, <laughs> oh my god, my English, coach shoutcasted with uh, on homecoming. Uh, he's not feeling too well today, so he's not going to be able to play today. He's, uh, I think he's monitoring chat right now, I'm not sure. He said he would, but... You know, if he's sick, I'm just gonna let him do his thing. Yeah, I know, Among Us League, it's crazy, but... I mean, like, it's it's all fun, you know. But, uh... Yeah. So, uh, back to the esports program. Um, Case, you know, with uh, the main, like... There's two ways you can go with, like, the program. With the program. With, like, the main ones. Imagine if there was a Sims 4 comp league. Yeah, I know. I can imagine. So, uh, basically, with the uh, the esports league, there's two ways you can go. You can either try and go pro, which, if you're really good at the game, feel free. We'll, we'll try and support it. You don't worry. You know, like, you know, we try to find opportunities. We try and find college. We look at colleges, you know, we say, oh, yeah, look at this. Good team for you to go to. Um, or you go the way that I've kind of gone down with. I didn't quite make varsity team. That's all right. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm practicing. I'm going to see if I can make it next year. And, uh, while I'm at it, I'm, you know, shoutcasting. So this has actually been a great opportunity. I've actually really enjoyed shoutcasting. I mean, should I continue down my business track that I'm doing in school? I might be able to, you know, maybe set up my own little shoutcasting channel, make my own little, like, come on, come hire me. I'll shoutcast for you. Don't worry. No, that's always a fun little thing I do. It's, it's entertaining. So uh, let's get back to the match now that we're uh, now that we're here. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of droned on. Actually, really quick, I want to go over the rules of this mode. So next up, we have assault, also known as two CP. Basically, uh, there's an attacking and defending team. Uh, they both try and capture. I mean, uh, the attacking team has to capture one point, which unlocks a second point, and then you try and uh, capture that. But the attacking team and the defending team has to, of course, try and stop this. Sorry if I went a little quick there. Uh, feel free to ask me to go over it again in chat because I will. Five, four, three, two, one. So uh, back to the game. Looks like uh, Case is going with a much more uh, defensive bunkery kind of composition. 
So uh, let's spectate. Let's spectate uh, the people that uh, NTC brought in, like OC OC six four zero, and we'll get to uh, we'll get to Battle Angel later. Looks like NTC is not ready to initiate the fight. I don't know what opportunity they're waiting for, but I guess they're just trying to wait for them for NTC to get a pick. OC640 is just not able to build up enough charge. Raided picks off Master Bubble, who's now on the Oh Pundu gets Battle Angel. Pundu with another pick on Master Bubble. with yet another picks off Jacavo. Uh, let's switch to uh, Battle Angel's point of view. This is actually a really clean skin. This is the uh, summer event skin. Really nice skin. Um, looks like Raided. Um, you can see him there through the wall. He's waiting for NT NTC to show themselves and wait. Just gonna take him, just attack him from behind and take him out. Oh, Raided goes for the kill. Does not get anything. I'm sure he did get some all charge from that though. Case is all case is five of their alts, just used one. Oh. NTC uses one of their alts. Pundud retaliates with one of his. I mean with his. Mighty Pants goes down. Mighty Pants get rezzed. Beep up who goes down. Oh! To massacre Pundu. I mean, not Pundu. Raided with the massive play. Pundu with the finish on the on SB. Looks like it was a massive play from. From uh, Case here. Completely unexpected, out of the blue play. Can we get some. Can we get some hype in chat? I mean, that was. That was massive. All right, I'm back. I just had to adjust my headset. <laughs> Raided is missing all of his shots here. He is able to escape with his life, but he, he looks like he was having a bit of a rough time there. Master Bubble on the Symmetra. Looks like Case did expand to pretty much all of their alts in that uh, in that fight. Pundered with the double kill. One on Ash, one on Bob. Mighty Pants with another. Let's let's switch to Pundu's point of view here. Pundu gets his ult and just uses it. There is just no competing when it comes to Pundu. Uh, remember, take notes. If uh, if you do play Overwatch or if you want to get into it, make sure uh, you uh, you practice your aim, as you can see with Pundu here. Like he trains a lot. You'll like I'll, sometimes I'll go on and I'll find him. He's just in the practice range or in a custom game, and it's an aim trainer. You know, he's constantly working on it. He's always perfecting that aim. Looks like Case is fighting hard for the point. Mighty Pants with the shatter. Looks like Case is fighting hard. NTC is trying to capture the point. Case with an yet another, I mean, Pundu with yet another ultimate. NTC is just throwing themselves at the point, and they are just not able to get it. So it uh, looks like NTC was not able to capture even a tick of the first point. Case with a very strong performance there on that uh, defense there. What do you think, chat? 
What do you think of that? A uh, very strong performance on that defense. So uh, now, Case will be um, on the offense, and we're going to have to see how they do. Um, I think Case's only sub for tonight was uh, Mikey, a.k.a. Mighty Pants, so we won't be seeing any of Ariel, Dr. Lunatic, or uh, I think there is one more that I'm missing. Um, we have great. Oh, yeah, we won't be seeing any of Crazy Crafter. Yeah, that's also who we're missing. I knew you were missing someone else. So, don't worry, Glad It's Gray. Uh, basically, um, like, what do you want to know? Like, are, like, what this match is, or, like, do you just not know much about the game? Because I, f I feel, feel free, I can, I can explain stuff to you, like, in between fights. Looks like Pundit is on the Doomfist, though. Looks like Case is gonna try to go with the teleport, but it looks like uh, N NTC was definitely expecting this. Looks like Pandu is trying to lay down some pressure. Chicago is still with the very strong, very mobile people. Definitely Sombra and Tracer are definitely his strong suit here. Also, he does have a very strong Widow. Wait, Fee, am I allowed to compliment other players? Uh, don't worry, Glads. Uh, basically, a whole lot of new characters were added since then. As you can tell, you know, with like uh, Sigma and now all the characters like that. Echo, which you don't see in this matchup, but... Pundit with the pick. Oh, Pundit goes down. So, uh, let's spectate Master Bubble. Looks like, uh... NTC is definitely preparing themselves for the uh, incoming case attack. Looks like Raiden did go to Reaper, I forgot to mention. NTC is, uh, you know, preparing there. Looks like Mighty Pants does have Shatter, is trying to get close enough where, he, where she can Shatter. Trying. Oh, out comes the Sigma ult. Ooh, does a whole lot of damage. Looks like Case does get three. Those Symmetra turrets in there, though, those are gonna deal some damage. Mighty Pants just, just swinging at the Mercy up in the sky. Gets her. And that is a win for Case. Can we get some hype? I mean, Case, they got the win. So proud. Play of the game. I'll, uh, I'll let you guys watch this uh, play of the game. I'll just meet myself. All right, so uh, let's go to a talk shop really quick. Let me uh, get there. All right, so uh, let's let's talk about uh, NTC and Case's play style. Okay, uh, Case, I feel like they were definitely on the side of the moment they got their ultimate, they tried to spend it. Not always, but that was definitely some of their play style. Um, here, help me, mate. Okay. Anyway, so. I, uh, I definitely noticed that NTC definitely changed up their playstyle instead of, you know, waiting up until three or, three or four ultimates, they, uh, 
they, uh, they, uh, <laughs> oh my, I'm stuttering. I'm so sorry. Um, they, uh, waited till they got like five or six, which we normally see when people play case or usually what case actually does. And, uh, they then used them in like one big final clash, which they tried to end it right then and there, which is, you know, it's a risky, but should it work? It's a very rewarding thing. I'm not sure if we're going to be playing another round. Can I get confirmation in chat if that's a yes or a no? Like, if not, then... Oh well, but... Uh, I'm going to see if I can set up some interviews. I think I do have a interview set up for... Uh, with NTC. That's going to be <laughs> a little rough on my own, but I'm sure I'll manage. So, uh, stick around for that. Now I'm gonna put a thing in the... Uh, yeah, I'll just... I'll put the B right back screen and, uh, we'll be back. Sorry, I had myself uh, muted there. Anyway, so uh, ladies and gentlemen who are watching, it looks like uh, we are going to um, we are going to go to a uh, another match. Uh, um, we are going to do a hybrid. Do we need a recap on that or no? Especially glad. Feel free to tell me. But um, I if I don't think do we need the panel? If not, I can just tell you guys what it is. Basically, what it is, is, um, it's, uh, <laughs> oh my god, my voice. It's, uh, basically a half of Assault. Okay. But, uh, just in case, you know, we're just gonna recap. So, Hybrid is a mix of Assault and, uh, Escort. So, basically, um, you push the payload, I mean, you go to the attacking team and defending team. The attacking team, uh, uh captures a point, and then they push a payload. But, uh, yeah. And then the defending team has to stop it. So it looks like uh, we are going to go into our uh, match. So we're going to have to see how this goes. <laughs> oh. Critical hit does go off the map. Oh, okay. It was just a scrimmage. Initiating match. So everyone ready for uh, this is like the the final uh, the final duel, I mean clash. It looks like uh, we are going to keep the NTC subs in. Ready for battle. We have raided and pun dude on Junkrat and Hanzo. Very, very strong picks, you know, and then with 
The O. Oh, I feel bad for Case. Yeah, glad I'm gonna have to agree with you there. Genji would probably make the most sense in that situation. Or Reinhardt. Ryan would also kind of fit in there. Like, all, like, the melee heroes, I think, would be best for that. So, that would be, like, Brig, Reinhardt. I think there was one more melee hero. What was their name? Yeah. Alright. So, we're gonna spectate Jacabo, because I feel bad for Case, and they're gonna have to deal with Jacabo and the Sombra. Oh hey, Mich oh, hey, Michaela. Would you be down to co-cast, I mean, while you're here? While I prepare for interview? Um, I can't co-cast with uh, Love the Game, but I can do it with you. Uh, do you want me to share my screen to you? Or, yeah, here, I'll just share my screen to you, don't worry. Uh... Alright, so uh, we have received to stream. We have uh, received special orders to spectate, invited, and be Papu. Oh, uh, here, uh, Michaela, can you send me a DM really quick so I can, so I don't have to put it in our team chat? It feels so interesting just like organizing this. I'm not used to this. So, looks like uh, Case is able to hold the point. Alright, um. Uh. No. Uh, that's not it. That's not it. Uh, why do I have so many origin things open? God darn it. Is it okay if I just show you my OBS screen? You can just like zoom in on that. Um, I can try my best. <laughs> alright. <laughs> yeah, because for some reason, not letting me share you my Overwatch chat, but that's alright. So. Looks like, uh, looks like Case is gonna get, uh, attacked here. They are being... Yeah. You might want to talk a little louder. But, uh, looks like, uh... We've been bring to it. We've been... Getting pretty good at like picking up uh, these past few games, getting a little bit better at these like handling these guys. Yeah, actually, uh, Michaela, since it's like in between fights, and I did ask about this uh, earlier in our in the general chat. How about some player insight? Like, how's the team doing? Like, uh, any like strategies that they're thinking of? Yeah. Oh. All the ultimates are coming out. And it looks like it's a massacre. Yeah. <laughs> kind of just do, like, like, what you do. Like, just, yeah, yeah you play it by ear. Like, Michaela, I've honestly, I've honestly noticed with Case, you guys try and play things like double shield or like single shield, like with Orion. But you guys are really at home with dive. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Coordination's always really good, so. Should always have that. Especially on dive, yeah. Looks like, uh. Oh, sorry, I interrupted you. Chat is blowing up. I can barely keep track. <laughs> Anyways, uh, looks like uh, Case is having some. Uh, they are able to defend, but they are gonna get pushed back. Jacobo, Michaela, were you playing when Jacobo was on Sombra? Or Or were you at least in the VC with the rest of the team while Jacoba was on Sombra? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I definitely noticed that Jacavo, as good as his widow was, or she, I don't, her, I don't really know, but, like, they're, re but Jacavo's really at home with, like, those two, like, really fast-paced heroes, Tracer and, J and, uh, Sombra, just really, really good with them. It's understandable, like, like playing, uh, Sombra is, like, so much fun in Tracer, being able to flank and get around. Also pretty nice. Yeah, actually, when I got out of my uh, burnout of Overwatch, because, you know, that happens sometimes, you know, I play it so much, I practice a whole bunch, and I quit for, like, a month or two. But, uh, like, when I started coming back, like, I, for some reason, just started gelling with Sombra. I have no idea why. Like, I was just hacking and getting kills, and it was beautiful. Oh my god. Oh, see with the massive bomb. Oh, sorry, Michaela, I keep interrupting you. I'm so sorry. DPS. In fact, I have a pretty high score comp-wise for healing over my DPS. Really? Yes. You know, something I've noticed is with a lot of people, uh, their open Q, uh, their open Q is actually, like, higher than their, like, their, uh, roll Q. Because I'm especially a case of this, because I've got a 2800 plat open Q. But, like, my damage is barely silver, almost gold. Well, not until I got put with a whole bunch of throwers today, but... And then, and then uh, my tank and support are, like, my uh, tank is, like, mid-gold, and then my support is, like, 2003, so that's just barely gold. stuck in silver as DPS and I think that all goes to or like the first three years of Overwatch I didn't I wasn't allowed to play comp I guess because my game was the comp for a long time but now that he just plays to play on the game so he's not that good at the DPS so that score was already messy for me I think what we all need to do is just find everyone that needs to get, like, their ranks up, and then just have Pundu just make, like, a smurf account and just carry us all. Honestly, honestly, 
because I'm not sure if I'm in, in, in I'm in this case, but some people get hard stuck in a rank that they really don't deserve to be in. Like you notice people have like a whole bunch of skill yet they're stuck in like silver or gold. Because they keep getting put with like horrible teammates and they just can't get out. Yeah. I feel like gold and silver are definitely like the worst ranks like toxicity wise. Like they get really toxic really quick. Yeah, I feel like the best time to actually climb out of a rank is just placements. Like, that's it. Like... Also, uh, back to shoutcasting, really quick wanted to shout out that Pundu just got a quadra kill. Really good performance by him. So, uh, wait, can you see the game well enough that you can properly shotcast, yes or no? Oh. Pundit invited our deadly combo, jeez. I, aren't they like the two like highest ranks on the team? That's my goal, is to one day reach iron. I mean, not iron, plat a diamond. <laughs> Why was I saying iron? Um, I think the highest I've ever been ranked in any sort of competitive was Lucio Ball. I got, like, Masters. Yeah, I also got Masters. Like, it's not that hard to just, like, you score a few goals and all of a sudden Masters. I, I played one game after I got ranked, I lost, and I'm like, not touching it, I'm just gonna leave it be. Dude, with the quadra kill. With five. Oh, he does get taken out. Dude gets a kill on Jacobo. 
Salak, it's beep bop boo. I gotta check chat to see how much. Oh, jeez. So much chat. My parents said this this would be done by 8. Joke's on them. It's probably going till... Well, not gonna go till 9, but... Best case scenario is gonna go till, like, 8. 8. Well, it might go to 9. Doubt it, but it's possible. I mean, Critical Hit just has to drop a literally massive bomb on the point, and they've probably won. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A little hard to do when there's no targets around to help them build back his mech, but... Oh, invited with a nice kill on Jakavo. Am I allowed to say that, uh... Yeah, like, I'm glad to see you know, that in the kill feed? Not, like, no, nothing against Jakavo, but, like... <laughs> Just, just satisfying. I don't know, it's just something about seeing yeah. Tracers just get killed, it's just... Mm. Oh, double Diva Bomb. Critical Hits doesn't get any... It does kill a whole lot of Hammond Bombs. Hammond Bombs. Oh. 100 gets one. Gets another. Critical hits just stalling for as long as he can. So she invited. I say I'm sorry. I was sucking. I was sticking to one person for way too long. I apologize. I'm invited with the double kill. Come on, invited. You got this. Just keep him back. Okay. Uh, and NTC is just stalling. I'm the man with two kills. That's a surprise. That's one vicious mercy. Like how invited is just, I mean, not, yeah, invited. He's just standing still, just tasing him in his bubble. Not even trying to like dodge or anything, just sitting there. It's just like the never ending battle. Oh. Oh my god. Looks like we're going to three, no, four rounds. Man, this is. This game's really starting to drag on. It's. For a little fun round, it's, it's definitely a pretty long round. Yeah, I feel like this is actually the biggest fight cases put up all night. Like, not even kidding. Like, this is when they're actually trying their hardest. I have no idea why, but... <laughs> when you're getting tired and you just want to win and you're just like, ooh. Yeah. You get the adrenaline, but want to win. It, it gets further Ready and you're just exhausted. <laughs> Yeah, I can see that. Especially telling about the time, like, well, my bedtime is technically 8.30, so it's late for me. Probably not late for you guys, but for me, it's like, ugh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm starting to feel the effects of, I need to go back to bed. Even though I've been, like, falling asleep super late, I get in bed by, like, 7. Like, I get in bed by, like, 8.30, but usually I'm on my phone till later. Uh, yes. V, she is. Can't hear us. Hmm. Interesting. Can they hear me? Or no? Yeah, Mikey, you need to... Okay, yeah. Apparently, I sound fine. Mikey, apparently you need to speak up a little bit, though. I don't think it's me, because I am face deep into my phone. 
Oh, really? <laughs> you do have a bit of a quiet voice. Um, let's see here. Who should I go? Let's go beep up boo. I dropped my calculator. Let me grab it. Okay. I think for, like, one of these extra fun rounds, I should do, like, a arcade event like Total Mayhem or something, you know, just spice it up. fight here. Sloth is on the Reinhardt. Hundred isn't careful. Pun dude, popping off. Looks like Case is gonna have to stick with the payload here. Dude, I've had that happen before where I, I was, I think I was playing like uh, Ash. I started, like, it was on Dorado. We just captured uh, first point. We were just passing, like, we were about to start taking the turn. I was like, okay, I'm gonna start pushing up a little bit. And then it's like, round three completed, I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> and then I look back, our Ryan had stepped away from the payload, I'm like, oh, I just... And everyone was complaining in the voice chat too, like, oh, oh, you stepped away. It's like, it's... sorry, I'm getting off track. Oh, sloth. Pundu was literally one health on dead. Well, there he goes. And it looks like round four. I mean, sorry, round three. Surrendered. Score. Four to three. Looks like this is um, most of my gold medals have been uh objective time. And this game I mean I love to stay on payload because I'm scared. Most of the time. Yes. And I'm learning how to be aggressive. Like, I guess we're kind of like polar opposites in that way. Because I'm overly aggressive. I always try and, like, say, Bryce, you know this isn't a good situation. You shouldn't dive onto that Zenyar that's surrounded by his entire team. But you know what? Ready Do it anyways. Anyway. <laughs> and next thing I know, I'm dead and my team's complaining. But that's all right. At least I hurt that Zen for about two health. But, you know, it's always worth it in the end. So, enemy team isn't running dive, which is very surprising. Well, they're running, like, partial dive. I mean, they've got, like, the... Yeah. They've got the highly mobile DPS, the tank, and the support. And then, I'm sure that... Yeah, it's still, like, a very mobile support, considering that she can fly to her teammates. Oh. Oh, now we're going... Oh. Oh, I feel bad. I feel bad for Case. Let's uh, let's watch Master Bubble. Let's let's see the let's see the reason behind this horrendous pick. Oh yeah, they're probably gonna like wall him off here and yep, just walk to the left. Oh no, they're gonna surprise move and just keep pressing through. Very uh unseen before move. Or oh, rated is flanking. Oh, Pundit gets Master Bubble. Let's uh, let's switch to Invited. Also, uh, oh, sorry, you continue. Um. So, is it just going to be you who's doing the interview, or are we going to get someone else? Uh, 
Okay. So I'm gonna see if I can air view you first, and then I'll do NTC next after you. Invited. It's Case is losing members quick. Yep. It's all down. It's all about that. What's that man doing? Oh, okay. On the move again. I think if Pundu just waits for critical hit to grab and then just uses his dragon, forces him. Either just kills them all or forces them all off point, then they win. I think as long as, I think as long as, uh, NTC keeps someone off the point, but kind of near, like one of their supports, like back, then they should be okay. Mm -hmm. Why am I giving, uh, ideas to the enemy? I'm not supposed to be doing this. Well, technically I'm supposed to be neutral, so actually I'm not giving tips to an enemy. It's just my case eagle and me saying that's the enemy. Looks like NTC wins. Big sad, I know. I guess we'll, uh, I'll let the viewers watch play of the game and then I guess we can start our interview immediately unless you want to invite one of uh, your teammates. Here. Yeah, you mean the shoutcasting? Someone has to yeah. pull their weight around. Yeah, yeah, well, we should go there. So I'll meet you there. All right, so those watching, we are now going to do a quick interview with uh, Michaela from, you know, the overtime Overwatch team. Oh, okay, so it looks like we might get Miguel and Emily as well, so we'll have three people interviewed. Interesting. All right. Or here, how about you stay here? I'm going to go interview uh, NTC really quick, so, yeah. Yeah, I'll keep myself. Howdy! How are we doing today? I'm doing great, how about you? Doing mighty fine. So, uh... Hello. Okay, so we have Blaine. And yep. life is a series of pedals. Uh, were you master bubble? Okay, you were master bubble. Got it. Okay, so first question. Um, I definitely noticed. Oh, sorry. Actually, let me introduce myself first. You know, let's be formal. My name is Bryce. Um, normally, I would have a uh, co-caster here, but one of them is sick, and the other one is caught up with work. So just me today. Well, nice to meet you, Bryce. My official name, my real life name. Ha, uh, Logan Frischman, uh, NTC. And I'm, I'm Blaine Smith. It's nice to meet you, Bryce. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. I'm too. the uh, head coach, or I'm the uh, varsity Overwatch coach. Head coach is uh, John. But <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, I, I look over the Overwatch team specifically. All right, that's nice. And I am just simply the meager team captain. <laughs> that's nothing meager, but yeah, it's nice to meet you both. Now, absolutely. First question. I definitely noticed that your team saved up, like, um, in the first like 
two, three matches. You guys saved up to like two or three alts and then used them all. Was it like a strategy or no? You want to answer that one, Logan, or you want me to? Yeah. Um. So right now we are um we're introducing a lot of new people to the program, and uh, with that, there's a lot of new personalities and a lot of uh, new styles of play that we're trying to figure out in a team environment and what we're really seeing here is we are seeing a lot of people being a little bit hesitant and we're working on that to uh the goal is to hold all or to pop our alts a lot sooner uh a lot more preemptively and we're working on that and it's going very well all right and i'm glad to say that all right now uh, another question um how did how do you think case played today um honestly like no pulling any punches just real Uh, I, I, I mean, I thought you guys played immaculately, to be honest. Like, you kept us on our toes even when we were, like, you know, uh, not having people that were, like, subbing and stuff like that. And we had the full main roster. Like, you guys definitely gave us a run for our money. Uh, I saw a lot of things I liked, especially the Hanamura game. Like, oh you guys were super solid on Hanamura. I know we had just swapped our comp, and maybe it took us a little while to kind of get, like, the communication flowing and stuff. But I felt like even just watching that Hanamura defense, like, you guys had a really interesting strategy to it where like you you played really split but every character that was split could kind of like survive and uh it made it really difficult because we were at a lot of high vantage ang or you know like high vantage points and like uh cross angles that made it really difficult for the team to kind of like push through without taking a lot of damage uh yeah and you also used your ultimates really well i noticed like you guys were kind of just like pulling them and stuff and like getting a lot of value out of them which is like really important i feel you know like one ultimate translates into one or two kills and you're doing your job right uh and you, you know, it, it just, it's important to not give the enemy team like a lot of breathing room. And I feel like you guys did a really good job of that while also like playing a really like interesting style that kept you really safe. Yeah, yeah. Like I've noticed that, uh, oh, sorry, you, you go. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead. Um, uh, as I was going to say, uh, Case, they try and definitely play with like that double shield or like the Ryan there. But really, you can kind of tell when they're at home because when they play dive, you know that's how they're supposed to play. Like they have really aggressive players. That's just that's just what they were made to do. But totally, yeah. And we we uh, we, we we kind of were. I would say right now we're more of like a dive team. When I first started with the team, we were definitely a Rhinzaria team, and I kind of shifted the meta uh, on purpose to like more of like a dive strategy, where it was just the uh, the Brawly comp we were playing in the last game, the Reaper Sombra Viva uh, Monkey. And now we're, we're trying to adapt, you know, like double shield and stuff like that ourselves, because that's obviously kind of like coming back now. Um, and, it, you know, it, it for good reason, like it's really difficult to deal with sometimes, like especially I think on Junker Town, you guys were running the double shield and we had to like swap off the Widow entirely against the, uh, the pirate comp because it was just like way too much to deal with and like we couldn't get any like actual shots in. Uh, I think that's why I like things like Echo and like uh, other like spammy characters that can kind of like put damage into those shields. Even still, like committing so much damage into a shield sometimes is just like it feels wasteful when you guys get to just shoot at us for free. You know what I mean? So it's like it takes a lot of coordination and uh, just like yeah, just coordination to really like break through that composition. I feel like sometimes and yeah, it's really really strong. And and to add to that, that's something I really like about your guys' comp is that you guys don't follow the meta as strictly as uh, say like um, an. Uh, ACC team would. Um, you guys, you guys really kind of bend the rules, and I like that because it forces us to think and stand our toes, help, having us adapt, which it, it just leads to a better learning environment for us too. True. Yeah, yeah. Now here's a bit of a longer question. This one is about your entire esports program. Now, for those who are watching that would want to either go to your college or want to be part of your esports program, what would they expect, and how would they really like? What would their experience be? Um, hmm. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take, if you want a part two, I'll take the part one here, Coach. Okay, yeah, go ahead. So, um, at the uh, NTC Esports, what we do is we're all about developing, you know, you as, as, like, we try to help everybody, like, learn and understand new things, right? A lot of the things you can learn from esports is leadership, and that's one of the biggest things, or leadership and teamwork and things like that. Those are some of the biggest things we try to promote in the program. And on the back of that, we try to make sure everybody's it, it's very inclusive we everybody's you know i mean it's <laughs> i'm kind of fumbling here uh everybody's in, involved it's it's really great um i really love it because you get to see people grow and you get to see people learn and, and, and you can it's kind of like what i would imagine being a father's like 
is just like watching your kids grow up and things like that from the captain's perspective anyways uh it's really fun that way uh, we have this beautiful gaming arena at the arena or at this at the school i'm sorry yeah uh, the, the arena is immaculate oh my goodness is that place wonderful and if you're looking to join the overwatch team <clears throat> captain bubble here throws a nice cookout every once in a while oh, that sounds fun <laughs> Yeah, and just to add to what Master Bubble was saying, is, uh, like right now at uh, NTC, we're currently members of NACE and NECC, uh, where we compete against like other colleges throughout the U.S. on pretty much a weekly basis. Uh, obviously, if you're more interested in like learning about us, I'm speaking to like any students listening or anybody that's interested directly. Uh, we have a Discord, uh, and you can feel free to join it and chat with some of the coaches. We also have a website, uh, which I can like type to you if you want, but it's esports.ntc.edu. Uh, there's a lot of really, really cool information on there as well. Um, and yeah, like Logan said, I would say just the things you can look to like really like improve on. Uh, obviously, we, we take like being a student really importantly, like your, your schoolwork has to come first, obviously. But, the, you know, the Overwatch team is a privilege and it's a uh, it's a really fun and cool, unique learning experience where you get to if, if you're not necessarily like used to being outside of your comfort zone, you know, I'll put you outside of your comfort zone and stuff. And like that, those things are also what make you grow as a person, I feel. You know, like uh, somebody who might not be used to communicating very much is thrown into the midst of all of us yelling and <laughs> screaming over each other and things and trying to communicate. But like, it's important to like nurture that and, you know, uh, really try to bring that out of people because, you know, teamwork, leadership skills, these are all things that translate into like real life and like, you know, future things in life, so. Uh, I think that's like a really, really cool thing that, you know, you get to, you can, you can obviously experience like other esports places, but like in Overwatch where you're just like, it's six on six and it gets hectic and people are yelling and there's so much intricacy and uh, just depth to it in terms of like compositions, maps and stuff. And like, you know, I, I am the coach, but at the same time, like I, I still learn from the students as well. Like we all discuss and it's very equal. Uh, partnership where we're all working towards the same goal we all want to be better and stuff and we all want you know uh the same end result which is for you know success for everybody and stuff and to really you know uh make sure that ntc looks good and uh we're representing them well yeah that was a great explanation um good job you too <laughs> I... much better than i did <laughs> uh, now uh one quick final question um if there was one weakness that you think Case should improve on, that you think I should pass on to them, what do you think it would be? Um, hmm. Playing against them, uh, a big thing I noticed we were able to take advantage of a lot was the, the positioning of the players. A lot of times you'd have somebody off on the flank or you'd have some, or you'd have like uh, half the team pushing uh, without the rest of them or just these little things that you can really take advantage of like for uh for instance on the um uh li zhang li zhang uh inside one whatever it's called li zhang tower yeah li zhang tower not the uh not the tower but the this the, the one with the like the the, the like the spacey kind of one yeah 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 i can't remember the name right now but uh, in that one a lot of the times a lot of your a lot of the players were were off on the flanks and we were able to collapse on them pretty hard uh, in regards to that. Yeah, I definitely saw that. Uh, yeah, to add, to add to that, I would say also, um, you know, it, 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 it's difficult because Overwatch is a game where you have to kind of like think on the fly and uh, really adapt and like recognize your strengths, your weaknesses and any like advantages you might be able to have. Uh, I think like that's a huge thing that we've been working on and stuff is like definitely in communication is things like if we get a reaper's wraith out you know we, we communicate that and we make sure to communicate that and things like that like any defensive abilities and stuff like that that we can potentially punish um and to add to like what logan said is like i feel you know if you're flanking and stuff it's really really important that you keep in mind like that you you're able to get back to your team in case the flank doesn't work out mm -hmm. uh otherwise you know committing to that flank can potentially be a negative thing if the enemy team's like good at like uh dealing with it uh when we first kind of like got our thing going and stuff was like there's certain i feel there's certain compositions that uh can really thrive off of like personal like individual skill and stuff and then there's other compositions that can really thrive off of just pure teamwork and communication and stuff and i feel like as a team one of the things that i tried to incorporate like when we first started was i i looked for a team comp that was really 
team oriented and stuff and made sure that everybody was kind of looking out for each other and trying to understand like what advantages we could get and like how to take advantage of those things um that's not to say that you guys didn't do that or anything like that but like i feel like uh with the team comp also like as as like logan was saying the team comp you guys kind of like you don't play a traditional team comp necessarily all the time which is a good thing uh but it also you know has its disadvantages too because it's like if you rely too much on one person's skill or mm -hmm. one strategy uh it can really it can really hinder everybody else and stuff so you want right. to put i feel like that that was like a good thing that we did you know logan was that um with our team composition we had a team comp where it was either we win as a team or we fail as a team right like right. it was right, right. it was uh it was death balling essentially I, I i will say in the back of that your guys's teamwork on on hanamura for example was magnifique absolutely yeah. wonderful i think yeah. when you guys are in those positions where you have time to set up and everything like that you thrive but i think you oh, need definitely. to work on i think you need to work on uh being able to set up while you need to travel to the point like the rotations might need to be a little bit more concise um i know that we need help with that too so yeah uh, it, sorry no i was that was pretty much <laughs> i was just gonna say to add to that um like it, recognizing when a rotation isn't working as well and that's something that we kind of struggled with as well was you know like I, I don't know why but like just as a team like a lot of people they see one direction and they are dead set on that direction and that was one thing that i kind of had to like talk about with our team in the middle of the nace tournament this year was you know sometimes it's better to just try something else than to keep trying the same thing over and over again especially if that thing's failing because overwatch is a game where if you lose the first team fight and your whole team gets wiped now they have ultimates and that's a huge swing in momentum and not only that but they have like a huge advantage as well so like keeping those things in mind and trying to like play around them can really make a huge difference and that's what again ties into like what i was saying about overwatch in general is just that there's so many different variables and things that you can like think about and like problem solving and stuff like that that really like tie into that yeah yeah very well said I w oh you go. i will say as well that is sometimes it felt like maybe maybe the team was kind of relying a lot on on Pundu, oh yeah yeah lots uh, of people instead of, suggested instead of, that instead of participating like instead of following like the traditional team play not that it needs to be traditional by any means but i think it was a lot of more like oh i really hope pun dude pops off in this fight instead of a all right let's, he did let's, though he certainly he did, did. he My did pop goodness. off quite a bit Jesus. <laughs> Holy is that I, I was taken aback on the first game in Lijong. No. I was like, I, I think I Reaper ulted him and he just headshot me instantly. And I was like, oh, okay, okay. I, <laughs> I see you, going, pun dude. <laughs> kind, of, kind of going off topic here. I was also very impressed with um, the Reinhardt. I, I invited. The game name was. Yeah, invited was sick. Oh my goodness, the, that guy was that guy nice. But kind of going back to the uh, the relying on pun dude, I think that uh, it would be beneficial to try to. Uh, commit more to the teamwork instead of i'm gonna hold shield for you and hope you pop off or something like that you know? yeah so yeah to, to add to that as well i think you know uh if if i'm gonna be a little bit like critical as like a coach and stuff like that the one thing that i did like about invited is he's very mechanically gifted i can i noticed that like almost immediately that like he knows how to play reinhardt one thing i would say that it kind of funny enough it kind of ties in with you logan is he's a uh, he seems very aggressive <laughs> and puts himself in bad positions sometimes uh, which is obviously like that's like a trait that like a lot of tanks have and stuff because it's really easy to be like aggressive and like pop off and stuff like that you know what i mean but it also can really bite you in the butt too so it's like something you really want to be aware of and another thing add adding to the pun dude thing is you know when you guys were running the mercy i saw uh beep boop beep bop boo uh was really committing a lot of beams to pun dude i think that might be where logan's coming from it's like uh I, I, he and, and that's not necessarily a bad thing like that really works and stuff but one thing that is a disadvantage of that is you're committing a healer's entire resources to one character and I, i've kind of like explained that to my team as well as like you can pocket someone without actually just pocketing them like all the time and stuff yeah uh, uh, quickly adding to that beep bop boo uh she's actually um she's a little newer um she's actually newer to the support she uh she's actually usually a tank player but she's actually um learning the support so um yeah, I thought the, I thought the Moira was sick. Actually, I was gonna say when you guys swapped to the Moira, it actually made a huge difference in the healing output, and it made it a lot harder for like our composition that we were running at that time to really deal with it. Because I and I, I think that also ties into like the composition. Obviously, is like you guys had that Mercy pocketing the Hanzo, which means that your healing output's a little bit lower. And then we have a team comp that's kind of just running at you. And if we can get on the Hanzo, it makes it a lot. It makes it really stressful for you know the Mercy or the Hanzo, you know. And that's like. That, that's kind of like the, the double-edged sword of it, right? Is like if Pun Dude pops off, 
he can really pop off. If he doesn't, then it's like really difficult for your team to kind of like stabilize. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas like with the Moira, you have a lot more escapes, you have a lot more healing resources and stuff that can really uh, make it more difficult for that team comp to really like do what it wants to do. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely see where you're coming from. That is a very good point. Like Pun Dude, he's he's a great guy. He's really good at the game. Like. But I do also agree with you that um, as good as the rest of, you know, Case's team is, they do need to start, you know, building their individual skill. Um, definitely our, st like, one of our other stronger DPS, you didn't get to see her today, Ariel. Um, definitely when those two are put together, because Pandu actually trained her, um, mm -hmm. very deadly together. Um, yeah, Rated was also sick. I think I think everybody honestly was individually really, really talented. Uh I like I I would say more so like what I was trying to touch on was more of like team play in terms of like discussing those things and like kinda like figuring that kind of side of stuff out. Because like individually, like I really have nothing bad to say about anybody. Like I thought M was great, I thought Critical was sick, I thought Invited was super good, Beep, Rated, Pun Dude, like the DPS lineup was really, really strong. I know Rated hit us with like a five-man Reaper ult or something like that. Yeah. One dude headshot like four of us in a row. So I was like, wow, their DPS are like not messing around. Uh, when I was playing like Doomfist against you guys, it was a lot of just get in and get get out. You know what I mean? Like it was very scary to be like close up to your guys' DPS because you guys definitely won't miss your shots if we give them the... Yeah, those two definitely specialize in shutdowns. Um, Rated, yes, he is a bit more offensive, but when he's playing that Reaper, he can definitely shut down anyone that walks through that choke point. Oh, I noticed. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I guess that's all for questions. Unless chat has any, I don't think so. But, um, thank you, uh, oh. oh. No, I, I certainly think that I had a wonderful time. That was, that was a truly wonderful scrim. I, I really appreciated it because, you know, everybody was so lovely. Everybody was sportsmanlike. We were all able to push each other a little bit harder than maybe you would on your own. And it, that's, that's really what this is all about at the end of the day, honestly, for me. Yeah, just like so, that teamwork positivity and just trying to help people improve just like that social yeah. interaction you know that's always just something absolutely uh, beneficial yeah yeah and, it was a, uh, it was a great experience overall honestly like one of the best scrimming experiences i've ever had mm -hmm. like as a coach absolutely. or as a player yeah and and certainly we would be very open to the idea of more in the future more scrimming. oh yeah definitely. i think that we would benefit greatly from it because well i mean hey you know yeah and the games were very close really like even even the ones we won, like every game was close. Like it was mm -hmm. it was definitely like, I feel like the skill level was pretty pretty close. You know what I mean? So it, it it could be really beneficial to scrim against you guys again in the future if you guys are ever interested in doing that. Uh, I know my team really enjoyed it. So oh yeah, I'm sure. And also, oh, sorry. Also, if you guys sorry, uh, if you guys are ever in the uh, the Medford area, uh, just hit me up. I got uh, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a culinary student by the way. <laughs> Yeah, and, and uh, I, like to, I like to make food. So if you guys are ever are ever over, hey. Before uh, before I before you call it really quick, I'm just gonna post in the uh, the chat as well. Esports.ntc. Oh, I, one second. There we go. Esports.ntc.edu. You can find a lot I, of information about our program and stuff there, uh, and our players as well. We have like a lot of cool player profiles. And then uh, yeah, we also have a Discord, which I'll share with your guys' as coach. Uh, and if you guys ever want to join in and just like talk or hang out or anything like that. Uh, or if you're even interested in coming to NTC and stuff, like we can definitely, you know, talk to you guys and uh, explain more about our program and stuff. Because I mean, you guys had some really sick players, and yeah, like you guys seem like you have a really well-developed coaching staff and stuff. Stay Frosty was super, super professional and cool, and uh, yeah, I just really grateful for the opportunity to play against you guys. Yeah, it was it was good. Um, really quick, just right before I call it. Um, really quick, emphasizing on that, uh, students may be coming to your guys' school. Um, this is actually Dominic, aka Invited. This is actually his senior year. I think he's the only one on the esports team who's actually graduating. So maybe cough cough, try to recruit him. Cough cough. Oh, hey, yeah. my replacement's here. Let's if, go, boys. Invited, if you're if you're listening to this, hit me up, man. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll 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 make sure to try and get you our Discord link and stuff, and you can check out NTC. And again, esports.ntc.edu. You can see a lot more about our program and uh we have like a really cool website with like a lot of like player profiles and stuff like that that has a lot of information so yeah yeah all right well it was real fun talking to you guys you guys are great um i don't usually get to talk to college students so this is always entertaining so yeah it was, yeah, wild. yeah thanks thanks it was an awesome interview and an awesome experience overall so thank you guys for that Absolutely. yeah i'm, I'm 
so happy. This was a wonderful experience all the way around the board. I feel like I learned a tremendous amount. I hope you guys learn a tremendous amount, and I hope we can con continue this in the future. I look forward to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. You guys have a good rest of your night, right? It's nighttime Absolutely. for you Absolutely. Thank you. You too. Yep. Have a wonderful evening. Yep. See ya. Yep. Thank you, guys. Peace. Good night. All right, for the for those watching, we are uh, getting ready to get uh, Miguel and M the Man on the <laughs> on. Uh, I'm <laughs> that was a really long interview with the college students, but it was fun talking to them. You know, they were they were sick. You know, it was always fun talking to them. <laughs> Hello, Miguel, Emily, good to see you. Good to Hi. see you guys. Hi. All right, so. Do you guys want what uh, NTC had to say first, or do you guys want to uh, want to be asked questions first? What do you think, Emily? Uh, do you want the good news or the bad news first? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with what, what did they say. Well, okay, so for what they said, they actually really didn't have that much bad to say about you. They said you guys were all great. You, got, you guys all had your disadvantages, like... He, like, he could tell Miguel and Pandu, you know, they were really good at shutting down. Emily, you're a great healer, you know, very mobile, able to, you know, stay. The one thing that they uh, did mention was definitely there was a little bit, there was as great as you guys. You guys are all great, but there is sometimes a little bit too much focus on Pandu. Like, and uh, definitely sometimes there's some out of position plays, which sometimes it works, but... Sometimes it's iffy. If that's, you know. Wait, so, so, so they're saying that they focused on dude a lot? Well, yeah, they could definitely tell that you guys were definitely um, very uh, gravitating around Pundu. Like, you guys were really trying to, like, keep him up, you know, trying to make sure he did his, you know, he did a whole lot. Oh, okay. Okay, I understand. Okay, so, is there anything you guys want to add to that, or do you guys want to get into the questions? Uh, not that I can think All right. No, no, nothing. All right, so, questions. Number one, how do you think NTC played today? Was there anything that uh, you think that really stood out to you guys? And would you guys be down for another scrim? <laughs> I got it. Uh, I saw uh, most of the time they, we were we were kind of expecting what we were what what they were gonna play because uh, I think mostly the whole scrim they were playing dive and we were kind of we we're trying to play counter dive against that and but they did do really well at focusing us, especially the back line, uh, for the healers. R.I.P. Mandu. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, and then the second part of that question, would you guys be down for another scrim? Honestly, I, I would, at least. Because yeah, they, they, put, they put up a good fight, and it, that was good practice for us, at least, to yeah, they, get better as a team. Just, like, think about what we needed to do. Like, you know, it made us think more. Yeah. Of what needed to happen. Actually, uh talking sorry i interrupted you miguel but um they did also mention that you guys tend to stick to not exactly like the meta and they find that actually like really cool but it at times when like they have like a really certain thing that kind of counters it it does seem a little detrimental but sometimes that like really out of the box really makes the enemy team think so you know you just keep going how you how you've been going and you know just keep improving did they say what the meta is then um like we're playing out of the meta well they well they kind of said like sometimes you guys played like like you'd go with like double shield but then you'd kind of like throw in like a random extra thing in there i don't remember what it was exactly i my memory's bad feel free to no that's that's not good <laughs> but uh yeah they they definitely had a whole lot of compliments for you guys they really like playing you they definitely want you guys to actually come down to their area and uh 
Bubble, <laughs> Bubble Monkey, uh, he wants to treat you guys to some food sometime. <laughs> I want food. I want me too. <laughs> yeah, he's actually a uh, cooking student, so he actually he kind of want to like make a nice little barbecue or something. I think I heard him say. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That sounds really nice. Yeah, they were, yeah, those guys were really nice. They they were definitely a cheer to talk to, you know, college students. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah. up next for uh, questions, uh, for those of who are still watching, um, would what would you do like? Okay, so <laughs> I'm trying to phrase this as I put it with them. For our esports program what kind of like experience would they expect and what kind of experience would they get emily that's all you right there yeah, um you're right you're right um like esports is really an accepting and fun environment because especially right now because of you know a pandemic of course it lets you bond with people and it's just really fun and you get to work with people that are just really great and they're really fun and you can get along with them really well and it's honestly just a really good place if you just want to be yourself really yeah yeah uh i've definitely noticed that uh there was definitely a whole lot of bonding in between you guys and you guys definitely seem to show some uh, some synergy so yeah i can s and i've as the shoutcaster and i've seen most of your games it's been fun. I like I've seen you guys like go up and up and up and you guys have been improving and improving and improving. You know, it's it's always fun to watch, you know, just seeing what new trick you guys will pull out of your pull out of your sleeve. Yeah. Well thank you. Yeah. And then uh final question of the night. Um I'm trying to think of what I was gonna say, I keep forgetting. Uh if we got this. If there were any uh, weaknesses in NTC's playstyle, uh, what would you say it was? Uh, Nico, you want to go first? I I think I I think we did say this um, and as a team. Uh, we did see uh, some players. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember who, but we we saw them play a little bit too aggressive and push up way too far where we could easily pick them off. Like Bubble Monkey. So I think that's one weakness. Yeah. yeah, they yeah they made they joked about it while I was with them. Yeah, that he was a little aggressive. Tank players are always that way. Similar to invited, actually, that was their little bit of thing oh, to him was yes. like, oh, like they say he's mechanically gifted and all that, but that he needs to like slightly tone down the aggressiveness. Yes, for sure. Emily, you got anything else? Um, other than being really aggressive, uh, sometimes their healers would kind of peek from the shield when they didn't need to so like either addison or miguel could easily pick them off so if they have a shield play with it instead of around it no no seems fair other than that i thought they did great <laughs> yeah yes they did um is there anything else you wanted to comment on about past questions that you just now remembered or anything you want to say to people watching or yeah. Uh, sorry, go I on. got the best play of the game today, and that's that. Shh. Shut. <laughs> you saw that too, Bryce. You saw that too. Yeah. You saw it on you Hanamura. Saw yeah. Play of the oh, game. Yeah. Mercy, mercy, dude. Yeah. Uh, that was a sick play of the game. I'm still mad. I'm still mad. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be fine. Yeah, you'll be fine, Miguel. I'm sure you'll have plenty of play of games to come. Play of the games. We always get to play. Other than our Addison did. Yeah. It's nice fun. to let me have this one, even though I did not. <laughs> yeah, I need I need my highlight that I saved the Mercy 4K, <laughs> just because it's all you. It's all me, dude. <laughs> I practically killed those four people. <sighs> well, all right. Nico, you want to say anything? I no, that's all I have to say. Well, I, I guess I want to let you guys either go to bed or, you know, just relax. Just wind down after your long, hard-fought match there. So, uh, it's fun talking to you guys. Yeah, it's fun talking to you, too. Yeah. All right. Have a good rest of your night. Yeah, you too. See you. All right. For those still watching, that is the end of the stream.
thank you for uh, sticking around. Have a good rest of your night.